Water, the elixir of life. We drink it, we make our beverages with it, we grow our crops with it, we tend to our livestock and pets with it. We cook in it, we bathe in it, we wash our clothes in it, we swim in it. We need it to survive because it's a basic human necessity. We are even made of it. Over half of the human body is water. And yet, fluoride is being added to water supplies, supposedly to prevent cavities. Even though ingesting fluoride by drinking it has not been irrefutably proven to live up to this claim. Meanwhile, we can also be exposed to fluoride through our food, our dental products, our medications, our clothing, our cookware, and more. What's worse? is that hundreds of research articles published over the past several decades have demonstrated potential harm to humans from fluoride at various levels of exposure, including levels currently deemed as safe. For example, scientific research documented fluoride's effect on the skeletal system in detail. And fluoride is also known to impact the cardiovascular system, central nervous system, digestive, endocrine, immune, integumentary, renal, and respiratory. Exposure to fluoride has been linked to Alzheimer's disease, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, infertility, thyroid dysfunction, and many other adverse health outcomes. Plus, fluoride is being added to water with a one-dose-fits-all approach. This one-dose-fits-all level fails to address allergies to fluoride, genetic characteristics, nutrient deficiencies, and other personalized risk factors known to be pertinent to fluoride exposure. This one fluoride level for all further means that infants are forced to take in the same amount of fluoride as a grown adult. Since infants drink more per body weight, they can actually be exposed to far more fluoride than adults. Other susceptible populations who drink large quantities of water are likewise getting higher dosages, including individuals with diabetes, those in military training, outdoor laborers, and athletes. Fluoride in the community water basically means that every individual in the area is forced to have this chemical in their supply, even though there is no informed consumer consent. As a dentist and a member of the IAMT, I want to make sure you know that the need to update previously established fluoride guidelines is extremely urgent as fluoride exposures have dramatically increased for all Americans since the 1940s when community water fluoridation was first introduced. And remember the IAOMT's official position on fluoride use so that you can use it to protect your health. Given the elevated number of fluoride sources and the increased rates of fluoride intake in the American population, which have risen substantially since water fluoridation began in the 1940s, it has become a necessity to reduce and work toward eliminating avoidable sources of fluoride exposure, including water fluoridation.